Hey folks, Steve Bird here. I was promising you a video on Paul Hendrickson's Maker Bullets 4570 Rex Load. I believe that's what he calls it. It's the Maker Overwatch 4570 Rex. It's 2600 foot per second. Anyway, it knows the 4570 knows that's fast. This is your standard 4570 load. It's a well, standard Sharps 4570 load. It's a 535 grain Postel bullet. This was loaded with 5744 uh, smokeless powder uh, in the to make it basically equivalent to a black powder load. And uh, it's a pretty effective round, long range. You can drill steel targets 300, 400, 500 yards all day long. Um, it's old school heavy. This is new school heavy. Fast, and I don't know if you can see the size of that hole. That is a big expansion. There's also some grooves. You might probably can't make out with this crappy cell phone camera and selfie mode where it's designed to open up. Paul's basically like a jeweler. He shows you his rounds that went into ballistic gel. They they flower into these gorgeous little vicious things. So gonna be shooting some watermelons, testing new tech high speed expanding against old school throw a truck at it and knock it over. Now your typical 4570 that you shoot through a lever gun that you buy off the shelf would be like 325 grain. Um, nowhere near the energy of either one of these. And that's so it'd be safe in like a Winchester or something. The hotter 4570s that you buy in the 405 grain load uh, or Marlin loads. And if you look in the reloading manuals, it specifically says Marlin load because the Marlin action is a little bit stronger than Winchester and some of the others. Uh, this being a Marlin, we're going to try one of these as well as the sharps now just so you've got an example on what this 4570 does to watermelon compared to what most people have here's a m855556 green tip I'm gonna shoot it through not a professional camera person I'm gonna shoot it through your standard run-of-the-mill ar this is a bushmaster I bought that one back a long time ago, back when there was like two or three ARs out there you can get and uh, pay full retail. Nobody does that anymore. But uh, anyway, so we're going to shoot the AR at its own watermelon. We're going to shoot the uh, Maker Bullets, little magic bullet here, at its own watermelon. And the big old heavy sharps load at a watermelon. And we'll see what they do. So just a little more detail real quick about these uh, 45 70s we're going to shoot. The Marlin, this is a short barreled Marlin. So we're going to be not accelerating the bullet quite as fast as we would through the Sharps. The Sharps has obviously got a significantly longer barrel. And the Sharps you can load them to a much, much hotter level because of this massive overbuilt breech it's te technically a lever action but uh, you work the lever and it raises this breech block up and down but uh, so this is this is the the big mamma jamma this thing is still pretty uh pretty stout for a uh, a lever gun i mean obviously the, the mechanics of a lever gun are a lot more complicated so there's a lot less a lot less metal in there so hence the uh, inability to shoot the uh, the mega loads, the big buffalo loads, but you can still load up a marlin pretty hot. Well, that was fairly effective. Let's see what we got here. Some uh, pretty good splatter, good uh, kind of a separation all the way through, but some, some big remaining chunks. You can adjust to the cows when you're done. Next up is the Marlin with uh, the Maker Bullets Rex. Holy cow! 
yeah. Okay. That was the AR. Um, can't really find the uh, the maker bullets, but all the way back there's some pieces. There's a piece. Some made it back to me. There's some watermelon on the winch, right there on the floor next to me. Pretty sure some went back over my head. It's uh, impressive. It just basically just disappeared. Next up for the sharps. Okay, one quick thing about the sharps. I was uh, shooting out of Montana with actually the gentleman I got this from, which is uh, Mike Venturino world-class gun writer magazine writer been writing for all the magazines forever he was the guy that was on the set with Tom Selleck during my filming with Quigley Down Under to teach him how to shoot these things we were shooting at Mike's house at 300 yards ringing the gong over and over and I asked him what's the elevation difference uh, from 300 to 100 if you wanted to shoot at 100 yards and he scratched his head for a minute and said I don't know. I've never had a reason to shoot anything that close. So, this sharps bottomed out at the very bottom setting. I have to shoot below the target that uh, body silhouette at 100 yards, which I'm right up right up to it here. But at 100 yards, I have to shoot below the target to hit it. It's just not these sights and stuff just aren't set up for short range shooting. I need the little the little barrel mounted uh, standard buckhorn sight for that. But it's uh, it's not on there because that's not what this gun's for. So anyway, I'll probably have a hard time shooting this watermelon that close. But we'll see what. Well, folks, there you have it. The. Uh, the old school 520 grain sharps shot through a much longer barrel, uh, which should equate to more acceleration. Uh, it did more than the AR-15. There's your AR. It was the least devastating. But Paul Hendrix's Maker Bullets, the 4570 Rex, that focus that work of art that thing completely juicified an entire watermelon there's that seam you can see where it's going to expand that's impressive that's impressive stuff so action speak louder than the words there you go folks Paul Hendrickson that is an outstanding outstanding round I'm going to have to have some more fun with that stuff